bit of a, a wet night. Oh, please don't do that. Thank fuck for that. What I was going to show you is I'm in my pyjamas in the van. It's raining and I've just been driving it around. It's not charging again. That's despite on my driveway before I left it charging at 14.1. So it's definitely an intermittent charging fault. So I'm going to head home before it conks again, which is why I was so damn happy after I stalled it just then that it did actually fire. Um, but yeah, it's not happy charging again. So despite poking the alternator and scaring it into thinking I was going to make it work, it ain't working and I've got to get a new one I think. Or it's something else in the charging system that I don't understand. But I don't think it can be the battery because I don't think the battery would make it just not charge. Just got home, battery voltage indicated now 11.7. I was also getting some squeaking from the fan belt as well which isn't normal. Well at least it's sunny. This must be James versus alternators and LDV charging round a lot. Um, alternators back out again. I've taken all the belts out because they scream. One of them does anyway and it's very old and cracked so I'm going to get them all matched up. That's the original regulator pack and brushes out of this. They didn't look bad but because of the intermittent issues I'm going to swap it and hope that that sorts it. So there's a Febby Febby copy I got off Amazon for about a tenner so I'll install that. I'm gonna go down the road and get myself some new belts, come back, put it all together and hopefully it works. New belts, well two of them. I can't get that one but it only does the air pump so not too worried but I have got the two longer ones and that's ready to go in there just need to compress the brushes poke it in and bolt it up and then i'll put it all back together again well that's back together new belts are fitted and roughly tightened up uh, the original was frighteningly worn so these might need to bed in a long way because the bits of the pulley that were eroded clean last time are now uh, running on a belt so it might make a lot of noise will it even start because it's down to 11.2 volts again it does is it charging oh come on For fuck's sake yes it is right we're up to with revs, it jumped straight up to 13.8, 14 volts. I'm going to take a bit of drive, monitor it and see what happens. So far, so good. I've done about 8 miles, I'd say. And um, the charge has never gone below 14.1 volts. That isn't, like, the end of it, though. Because, of course, it was working nicely before. And then it randomly decided to pack up or work intermittently but um, certainly for the minute at least it appears to be working so I'm very happy mini road trip successful I don't know how many miles I did it was quite a few and the voltage has never dropped below 14 on that so happy days this will be the end of what's probably quite a boring video to watch but at least it is done Remember that new exhaust that I fitted when I got the van? It lasted about probably 2,000 miles, less than that maybe. It's fractured all the way around that welded joint. And this is a genuine LDV part as well. This isn't a um, Walker or Bosal pattern part. So I'm gonna weld that back on there and then I'm gonna weld in some reinforcing because it's just the vibration of that clattery engine. It's just shaking it apart. It's all properly mounted with rubbers and yet it's still fractured off. So um, yeah, bracing is the order of the day. I'm just throwing a couple of tacks on to hold it in the right place. Um, and I've cranked the welder off a tiny bit more so that it'll actually penetrate. 
and I'll probably lay quite a big slug all the way along that fracture line and hope that that with some additional bracing means it don't fall off again. Well that is several layers of weld all stacked on top of each other which penetrate right to the inner core and then are licked up onto that front face so that should be good enough but I will go and get some strip steel and weld some additional gussets in just to stiffen it a bit I'm thinking about doing something this end too but there really isn't the room because you know this goes straight into that stub there's no unless I weld that to that which I don't really want to do um, I haven't really got room to brace it which is annoying this is not going to be artwork this is purely for expedience because I have lots of other things to do today so that is going to get welded in about there maybe a bit further out something like that and I'll do similar with a shorter piece this side just to stiffen it all well this is far from my best work but we have exhaust pipe re-terminated I'm going to cover it in zinc paint um, the aerosol weld through stuff just as a bit of protection and then shove it back in the van mini update on the van driving it back from Cadwell Park and the bracket which held the brake servo pump or you know it doesn't have a servo it's just well it does have a servo but it doesn't have a conventional engine vacuum it has a vacuum pump basically the bracket vibrated loose fell out onto the road and I never found it so I'm having to make a new one out of a piece of flat bar with some holes drilled in it and then I'm just using sander try and make it look a bit prettier that is what we're missing something to go in there the old belt was looking rather tired so I've invested in a new one so that can go on I've just got some final fettling to do and then hopefully we'll get back up and running